Hi, so in this video we're going to talk about some very basic uh, map control fundamentals. Uh, let's start out with two definitions. Uh, the first is going to be posting, and that's pretty simple. You post on an angle. You're just going to take a spot that you feel very secure in, and then you're going to hold ideally a long range angle. And then basically the only way someone can really fight you is if they swing into that angle you're holding, which gives you a really strong fight. The second definition I want to introduce is scaling. Scaling means you're hugging a wall, you're taking an entry path to end up at a point where you can take map control. So an example could be, I'm hugging this wall holding, holding moto until I reach arch. So I've scaled up all the way to arch and now maybe I smoke across or something like that to cross here. Or another way I could be scaling is I'm holding library and I'm scaling up to get close to moto so that I can swing onto set or something like that. So. Once we had these two definitions uh, clearly understood, we can now understand how they work in tandem. So the idea is that when you are working map control, you want someone to be posted on an angle and the person who's taking map control, the person who's scaling, to be on the safe side of the angle. So let me give an example right here. Say the person who's posted is holding library. Now in this case, the person who's going to scale should uh, stay on the safe side of that angle. So what that means is that the person who, uh, if a CT tries to peek from the library, they have to cross the angle that my teammate is posted on. So as long as I take an angle that's safer from there, which is going to be everything that's within that angle, within that line from library, I'm safe from library. So for example, if I'm scaling and my teammate is posted on library there, I can just hold moto and feel very safe in pushing up here, simply because I know library is not going to be an issue for me, because my teammate is holding it and has the wider contact angle. Now that doesn't mean you always have to hold the same angle. Another way you could do this is you could have a teammate here in Cubby holding Moto. So now my teammate is posted on Moto and I can feel confident hugging this wall knowing that nobody can swing me from Moto because my teammate is responsible for it. So now I can just check Arch like this, then I can get posted on Library, and then you can, you can essentially repeat the same process for example. Now here it might be better to scale with a teammate watching Mini Pit and Lane and then you can hug up on this side or vice versa, you could have someone posted on a pit and then my teammate would, should scale up on this side going to graveyard. In all these cases, what I'm making sure is that when I work map control, one person who's scaling is always on the safe angle of uh, the person who's posted. So how can you actually Im implement this in your uh, gameplay? If you're playing with a duo, if you're playing with randoms, if you're playing on a team, uh, try to identify when you're working map control which role you are uh, fulfilling at that moment. So if you're the person who is scaling, make sure that the entry path you're choosing is always on the safe side of your teammate who is posted. Uh, so what, uh, for example, as we covered, like if my teammate is holding library, it's my job to make sure I'm hugging this wall and not this wall because when I take contact, that person's just gonna swing there and uh, my teammate can't help me there. If you're the one who's posted, it's important for you to identify what path your teammate could be taking, where they want to go, and how can you support them. So make sure you're taking the right angle to post upon, and that you are not moving, you are ready to take that fight. And this can apply in many different cases. It can work when you're taking uh, map control dry in a contact manner quietly. It can work when you're doing an execute. It can work in retakes. Uh, a very common example that people do not uh, implement in their gameplay is when they're doing a B execute, the whole team just decides to run through here. If instead two people are scaling up on this wall and then one person is just jiggling this or waiting for a CT to push, what essentially happens is even if the CT wide swings and gets a kill on the player who's close, this player will just instantly get the trade. So by you're essentially posted on CT cross and then your teammate can safely scale here without worrying of a teammate swinging them because you're always holding the wider angle. So I hope this video made sense and you're able to incorporate this into your gameplay.